everyone, the Sheep Killer here, and welcome back to Pokemon Leaf Green. It's been a while for this series. The last time I made a video was on my birthday, and now we're all the way here at the end of the year. Which it's already 2016 by the time you guys are seeing this, and we just ran into a wild Paris. Oh yeah, and look at this. I found yet another shiny. I've already shown you guys the footage of that. Yeah, there he is. There's Shiny Pidgeotto. When I was recovering the game, I don't have shiny rats anymore, but I just randomly found a shiny Pidgey in the wild, which is kind of crazy. <laughs> so yeah, now we got shiny Pidgeotto on our team. We Now we have three members instead of four, but well, it'll have to do. We get more members in the, in the future anyway. Hey, stop! I found these fossils! You're both mine! And yeah, I kind of skipped ahead to Mount Moon because whenever I originally recorded this, before I lost the files, most of the time spent in the video was in this cave with was like 30 40 minutes in just this cave so I decided to skip ahead so that it would so that this cave wouldn't take up an entire video so yeah here we've got Chico I didn't name Chico and if you're wondering where that nickname came from it's just like you know Chica from Fire to Freddy's is, is a yellow duck burn well shiny Pidgey also yellow so, so I just replaced the A with a no since you know he's a male so yeah that's where that nickname came from and it seems like on Pokemon Glaze we're pretty over leveled. <laughs> we overtrained like crazy. But that's good because like on Pokemon Glaze we're not gonna have to grind for a while. Also, Chico won't really be that much help in the, in the gym. Or in the gym after that. So it's not till the the fourth gym that you know Chico will actually be useful in a gym battle. So yeah. Now we got Super Nerd Miguel out of the way. Okay, I'll share. I've got that's not a lot of money. And I'm not really that rich on my leaf green save right now. Right now at least. Next episode we probably will be very rich, like maxed out. And I'll let you guys know why whenever that time comes. And we both get to take a fossil, no being greedy and taking both. Oh, we're gonna Of course we're gonna pick the Helix fossil, even though it's it, extremely inferior to Pico. We'd still get Pe Fe Helix anyway, even though Pika's a lot better. And he got the Dome Fossil. I personally think Dome's better, but we have to take Helix. We could, we couldn't not take Helix. And here we've got an Antidote. And we're gonna keep going now. I'm gonna exit Mount Moon. I kind of hyped up Mount Moon last episode, but you know, it's kind of only like a minute, or two, maybe two. Yeah, now we're out of Mount Moon, and we're here at Lovelace's well, Route 4, and here we've got ourselves a raspberry. Not the fruit, but like a raspberry. I watched the Hoopo in the Clash of Ages and Resurrection F. Yeah, now we got these two guys. One of us is going to teach the Pokemon Mega Punch, the other is going to teach Pokemon Mega Kick. And that's not worth it, because of low accuracy. Yeah, we're just going to ignore those guys. But yeah. We're going to keep moving on now. Are there any trainers on this route? I think I remember there being trainers. No, no trainers. It's kind of weird. I actually want to go in this grass. And you guys will see why. And we have found it, guys. We have found ourselves a Sandshrew. This is going to be our replacement for Lucky in this Let's Play. So, our Pokemon are way too strong, so we're just going to throw a ball. We have nine balls. We could do it. Yeah, let's just throw that ball. See how it goes. And it worked. Yay. So yeah, burrows deep underground in arid locations far from water. It only emerges to hunt for prey. And it's the mouse Pokemon. So of course we're going to nickname this Pokemon. Except, unlike a Pokemon Glaze, Sanic is a main team member. So I'm going to have to train Sanic off camera, so... I kind of lied about us not having to grind off camera, because we're going to have to train up this guy, Sanic. And that is our first female Pokemon so far. I remember our Pidgey was female on our original Let's Play, but you can't control what gender a shiny is now, can you? We have to go back to the Pokemon Center before Sanic dies of poison. And see if we can make it in time. And I like Pokemon guys, that we cannot run indoors. So let's just get that done real quick. We have to see you again! So yeah, now that we got that out of the way. Sanic is here. We don't have anyone in the PC except for one Pokemon. 
And I'll show you guys who that is. And here we got... We got Earp. And... It's actually... I got the Magikarp in my original recording, and I <laughs> messed the nickname of Derp, but I accidentally typoed it, so I kind of replicated that when I was recovering the files. When I was recovering the Let's Play, I mean, we couldn't recover the files. And here we've got Robin the Pidgey. I was originally going to have... The, the female Pidgey, the same female Pidgey that we had. But then when I was grinding up Thor to the same level that uh, that Robin was, I ended up finding this guy, so now he's part of the team. Yeah, that's just how things work. I have no idea how I could find two shinies in one Let's Play, but I guess I'm just that lucky. We're gonna keep moving on up here, do the rival battle. And here, yeah, the, the rival's here. Scully. Now, I originally named him RBS in my Let's Play, but since my brother's channel is no longer called R Red Black Scully, it's called Scully, I just decided to rename my rival that. Of course, I'm still called DSK, but... But yeah, rival's name is Scully now. Just to make it more relevant to the time of, of how it is. Yo! The Sheep Killer! You're still struggling along back here? I'm doing great! I got a bunch of strong and smart Pokémon! Here, let me see what you caught, The Sheep Killer! Yeah, here we got our third rival battle of the series. He's got his own, he's got a Pidgeotto of his own, except it's a lot weaker. Yeah, that's the whole reason why I kind of went to level 20 is because, well, rivals quite the formidable foe. We're not as overpowered as we are at Pokemon Glaze, but we are doing pretty good. We're not one shining things, so at least things are still a challenge. And yeah, we got that Pidgeotto out of the way. We're gonna just keep moving on. He's got a Rattata. I wonder if we can let Sanic. Nah. I think I, I know who I'm gonna let Sanic go against. He has an Abra and only knows teleport, so. We're gonna put Sanic against that guy. Get, get a bit of experience for ourselves. And it looks like his Rad just got quick attack. I'm just gonna wreck him with Thundershock. Unlike a Pokemon Glaze, their Pikachu does not have Thunderbolt quite yet. I think I learned it at level 24, though. It's somewhere around there. He's already sending out Charmander. He still has Charmander, but I already have Ivysaur. I've had Ivy Source since the first gym. Come on now. Yeah. Here, we get, here he's got his Charmander. We're gonna poison. We're gonna poison it. Poison powder. Yeah. Haven't really reviewed my Pokemon's move sets, but that's because in part three I took like forever just going over my team, and I don't want to do that again. So <laughs> I'm not really gonna go over my team that much. I probably won't do it until like major battles, you know, like the champion or the final battle against Giovanni or something like that. Here we got the poison leech seed combo going for us, and his strongest attack doesn't do crud to us. That's because King's very bulky, that's why we call him King, because he's a king. Venusaur's supposed to be bulky. Mega Venusaur next to Y gets even more bulky, because he has thick fat, making fire and ice moves neutral instead of super effective. I mean, it still says that it's super effective. But, you know, it does as much damage as a neutral attack, because it reduces the damage. We've got Leaf Seed, or Razor Leaf, I mean. And we didn't get a crit, unfortunately. And did he get a crit? No, he surprisingly didn't get a crit. That did a bit more damage. He did a lot more damage, actually. Is he gonna die from this poison? I doubt it. We're gonna have to finish him off with Bullet Seed. Yeah. Just finish him off with Bullet Seed, that's be fine. Yeah, if King had skill length, then we could always hit five times with that, with that Bullet Seed, but I don't even think that ability is in this game. After all, Gen 3 only just then introduced the just introduced the abilities to the Pokemon games. And he's got his Abra that only knows teleport, so we're gonna let Santa go against this guy, get some experience. It's level 16, 10 levels higher. We should get a lot of experience in this. You see, it only knows teleport, so yeah, this should be really easy. So yeah, just gonna wreck this scrub. I don't know why you'd catch an Abra that only knows teleport. You said you had strongest smart Pokemon, but this Abra obviously only knows teleport. So we're just gonna wreck him. And there we go. Sanic gets his own little experience. 249 experience points. That's easily on the level up to Sanic. Level 7. I know he wants Poison Sting, but not quite yet, unfortunately. Hey, take it easy! You won already! <laughs> Why'd you say that when I have my weakest Pokemon in the battlefield? <laughs> hey, guess what? I went to Bills that got him to show me his rare Pokemon that added a lot of pages to my Pokedex. After all, Bill's world, Bill is world famous as a Pokemaniac. He invented the Pokemon storage system on PC, too. Since you're using a system, you should go thank him. Well, I better get rolling. Smell you later. Oh, yeah, right. I feel so sorry for you. 
No, really. You're always squatting behind me. So here, I'll give you a little present as a favor. We got the fame checker that we're never gonna use. A chatty gossip like you. That thing's perfect. What makes you think I'm a chatty gossip? I'm anything but that. I don't need it because I don't give a hoot about others. Alright, this time I really am gonna smell ya! And now that we got our scrub rival out of the way... Yeah, that's right, Scully. You're a scrub. I just wrecked you. And now that we got him out of the way, we're gonna go heal up real quick. Alright, guys. Looks like Satanic did get one level, and... But... We're gonna have to grind him a bit off camera, get him caught up with everyone else. It's gonna take a while, but it'll be worth it in the end, I think. Because we'll have a Sand Slash in our team in, in the near future. Not really near future, but in the future. And once we beat the 8th gym, we get a team for Earthquake, we teach him that if he doesn't already know it. If he does already know, we'll teach it to someone else. I don't really know to who, but... Yeah, we'll teach it to someone. Yeah, here we go. We're gonna battle these five trains, but we're not gonna battle the guy at the end. And it has to do with why I'm gonna have a lot of money next episode. Yeah, we're just gonna wreck these guys. Just to pass some time in the episode. We're gonna go through Nugget Bridge. But catch a kale. He has a caterpie. You know, I could put Sanic against these guys, actually. They're this guy's pretty weak. He's only got a caterpie. Yeah, it's only got tackle, that's not gonna do crud for damage. And I just got a crit that did a whole load of damage. Let's just keep going. Let Sanic take the glory. I'm already slow. I don't know why you're using String Shot. Is it disrespect? DD disrespect? But he's out of the way now. We're gonna level to level. Probably do, yep, level eight. I'm back up to green HP as well. I know. I know the Sanctuary Worm's poison sting. I just don't know when. Hopefully this guy is a poisonous though. I really hate Weedles. Is that kind of poisonous? Yep, it always poisons us. There we go. Hopefully he doesn't poison me again. We're probably gonna have to use a potion or something. I don't want to use that though because it's probably gonna poison me again. Oh, he didn't poison me surprisingly. We are gonna have to heal up though if we're gonna survive this battle. And that just went up pretty quickly. I didn't even super speed there. He's just going for the string shot. He's already faster than me, so I don't know why he's doing that, but... I guess he just likes doing it. Yeah, what? Oh, didn't mean to go to the bag. Didn't mean to go to the bag. Yeah, here we got... Hopefully he doesn't poison me again. He's probably going to, though. Yep. Ah. You know, I'm just gonna kill him real quick. I don't care. That would've poisoned me again anyway, so... Pretty glad that I didn't use an antidote straight away. You gotta strategize... You gotta strategize these battles. Now we got a metapod that's gonna spam harden, though. It's always very annoying. But at least he can't poison us, right? There we go, finally! There we go, now he's gone. I don't know why the guys only know Harden. But yeah, we finally got Sanic to a good level, we get level 9. I sit on like there. There we go. We're just gonna let Sanic take things from here. I think he could handle it. We do, we do have to go back and heal it though, because we just used a bunch of PP off of scratch. And we are back, guys. Here with the second trainer. Now it's serious, apparently. I hope it is. I want a challenge, not someone who spams Harden. Or Teleport. We got a level 12 Pidgey. Hopefully that should be a challenge. Yeah, I was just gonna take this thing down. It knows Gust. There's no physical special sport in this game, so that's a physical attack. Therefore, it's not gonna do any damage to me. It did a bit, but... Ah, oh, great. Not sand attack. I hate... I've always hated that move so much. And you, and now you can see why. We're gonna have to switch into Thor. We're gonna have to, guys. I can handle constantly missing. I can handle someone who spams Harden, but not someone who who constantly makes me miss my attack. We're gonna have to take this thing down with Thundershock. And that should one-shot it. Yep. Hopefully you don't run into another Pokemon with no sand attack. And Sanic is level 10. Still hasn't learned a new move. Oddish. That's a grass type. Oh well, we'll risk it. Why not? This episode's gonna be focused on Sanic, except for when we take on the second gym, which I'm probably gonna do in this episode if we have time. Which I think we will. And now you can see why I didn't want to send in Sanic at first. We're gonna have to switch him out now. Chico, take it from here, please. 
I just love that shininess. We don't have Lucky anymore. But Shiny Raikade doesn't look that good anyway. It, it was like red. It really changes its color. I know it does that when it evolves normally, but I just don't like it. There we go. Now we can just take this thing down with like a gust. And Sanic is still gonna get some experience because he, he was he was in the battle. He was involved, so he's gonna get some experience from this. Now we're gonna take down Oddish completely. There we go. He's wrecked. Or she. I'm sorry, Oddish. Sanic got 99 experience. Bell Sprout. Why are there so many grass types? Sanic cannot deal with grass types. He just can't. Or she. I keep getting the genders mixed up, but oh well. Oh, we got that trainer out of the way. <laughs> How could you lose? Maybe because you're a scrub? I don't know. I think there's like three more trainers up ahead. Yeah, I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go past the last trainer on Nugget Bridge, because that that guy that gave us Nugget. I'm not gonna face him or anyone ahead of him on the camera. I'm gonna t face them all off camera. This takes up so much time, so much time. And this guy's got a Sand Troop of his own here. We're probably gonna have to use Defense Girl. And he's got Sand Attack. Again, another Pokemon we cannot face, because Sanic is just too weak right now. He's weak right now, but he'll be stronger in the future, just like Lo just like Loxus and Thor on this let's on my Let's Plays. I don't know why I have Pikachu's on so many Let's Plays. But I don't have Pikachu on Light Platinum, at least, which I will be continuing that series, if you haven't heard. I'm actually gonna make part two. It's been so long, the long awaited part two. I already have an idea for the, for the title of that video. And this video as well. Of course, you guys will already know when you get to those videos. And here we've got an Ekans. Can Sanic handle this? Can Sanic actually handle a Pokemon? Even though he lowered my attack, lowered my defense, wrapped me, and bit me, he killed me. Ah, oh, gosh darn it, Sanic. Pidgey was the only other one that died in this series. I think this isn't a Nuzlocke. Like I said, that's not until Liquid Crystal, which hopefully I'll get to record it soon. But yeah, Sanic's just too weak to battle right now. We're just not going to put him in any battles this episode. He's already level 10. That's as good as we'll get him this episode. Stomp flat, yes indeed. But I'll be right back, guys. Gotta go heal again. We are back, and we've got this other trainer, number four. And yep, that guy's number five, and the last one, that, and Nugget Bridge that we're gonna face today. And he's got a Nidorin female. Thor should handle that very nicely. I don't know, I don't know what I'd do if Pikachu was a female. I don't know what I'd do. Thor would just not make sense. It would not make sense for a female Pikachu, sooner I'd you. You lost two. Yep, and so is the guy ahead of you. Because he is a scrub. Number five. No, you're not gonna stomp me. Why do these guys keep saying they're gonna stomp me when they're just complete scrubs? They're gonna get so wrecked. They're gonna get stretched 2015. Got a level 18 Menke. Thor should level up easily from this. And of course, I'll leave it to King to take on the gym leader. Just like a little fast gym. So, except I'll probably let Sanic take on the other the third gym, because he's a ground type and You'll handle that very nicely. And this guy's just spamming furious webs. He got paralyzed from my static though. Which is always pretty good. And there we go, Mankey's out of the way. And we are level 23. And there are two gym trainers that we're gonna let Thor take on. Unless he gets to level 24, in which case. Oh, he's a king to deal with the rest. Alright anyway, guys, like I said, we're gonna go to the gym now. We're gonna heal up and go to the gym. And yeah guys, I'll meet you guys in front of the gym. Why don't you go upstairs and try trading Pokemon with your friends? You get a lot more variety by trading. The Pokemon you get in trades grow quickly, too. Bill has lots of Pokemon. He collects rare ones, too. That Bill. I heard he'll do whatever it takes to get rare Pokemon. He's not above doing all sorts of things, I've heard. Have you heard about Bill? Everyone calls him a Pokemaniac. I think people are just jealous of Bill, though. Who wouldn't want to boast about their Pokemon? If that Slumbro wasn't there, you could cut down the small tree. That way, you could get to the other side. I think there's a way around it, though. You're a trainer, too? Collecting, battling, it's a tough life, isn't it? Now we got Mr. Clyde. You champ in the making. Let me give you some advice. The leader Misty is a pro who uses water-type Pokémon. You could drain all their water with grass-type Pokémon. Or you might use electric-type Pokémon and zap them. 
And that's exactly what I'll do. We're gonna battle these two trainers and then take out the gym. And that'll be it for this episode after that. I'm first up. Let's do it! Do it! Just do it, man. Don't let your dreams be dreams. I don't want your memes to be memes. Just burst them out like I do. And we're, here we got a horsey to wreck. My air vent's leaking right now because it's winter. And that's how I got water on me earlier. And here we got horsey out of the way. And after this shelter, I'll be it for this trainer. I don't know why they, I don't know why they make Pokemon so weak. I mean... I always make it a bit of a challenge, kind of like with the rival battle. He was at least a ch he he at least put up a fight. He didn't take down any of my Pokemon, but he at least put up a fight. That can't be! I got 64 Poké Dollars. And here we've got Misty. We're, we're gonna have to deal with this trainer first. What? You? I'm more than good enough for you. Misty will have to be bothered. Um, she'll have to be more than bothered. She's gonna have to be wrecked. And you only have all of my 19 gold bean. If I didn't train so much, these trainers would actually be a challenge. Like, like if I just went to where I was last episode and just went on now, I would actually be having a challenge. But of course, you're gonna miss your Super Sonics and you're gonna get wrecked. I have Super Sonic on my side, and the picnic is gone. You over, you overwhelmed me. Yeah. Same with me. I'm gonna do the same to Misty. I'm gonna overwhelm her with how skilled I am. And of course we're gonna leave it to King. Hi, you're a new face! Only those trainers who have a policy of Pokemon can turn pro! What is your approach when you catch a trained Pokemon? My policy is an all offensive with water type Pokemon! And here we've got the second gym battle. We went to the first one last episode, and now we're already on to the second one. I don't think we're gonna take on the third gym next episode. Yeah, there's probably gonna be two two videos of the series before that. But right, here we've got a star you. Will Misty actually put up a fight? I wonder. Well, then I'll be found out know, right now. Whenever we take down this star you, we just got a crit, even though we didn't need that. We got a crit. That crit was so necessary, guys. We couldn't have won the battle without that crit. And here we got Starmie. Why do these gym leaders only have two Pokemon? It isn't until Lieutenant Surge that they actually have more than two Pokemon. We got a Star a Starmie that's of course faster. It's not Star U, it's Star Me. So we get wrecked. And wow, we we didn't one shot. That is, we just one shot both of Brock's Pokemon, but Starmie. But, but Misty Starmie, it's too bulky to get one shot. We're gonna have to bullet seed it to death. And it's gonna hit two times and. And King's gonna level up to level 23. And there, Starmie is wrecked. And over 900 experience points. Two adds to not over 9,000, but yeah. Now, Leader Misty is gone. Wow, you're too much! Alright, you can have the Cascade Badge to show you beat me. And that's a bit more money than what Brock gave me, I think. The Cascade Badge makes all Pokemon up to level 30 obey. And codes even outsiders you got in trades. There's more. You can now use cut anytime, even out of battle. You can cut down small trees to open new pathways. You can also have my favorite TM, which is of course TM03 Water Pulse. TM03 teaches Water Pulse. He's on the aquatic Pokemon. Of course, we're only gonna have one use for Water Pulse because, unlike Pokemon Glaze, the TMs are not infinite in this game. No one can learn Water Pulse, but I think that Santa can learn Rock Tomb, actually. We should have taught him this earlier. <laughs> then he could wreck those Pidgeys easily. But hey, now Santa has a new move, so make the grinding a lot easier. A bit easier on me. And let's see how much experience he has. If he doesn't have that much, we can... Oh, he's close to leveling up. I think I'm going to get him to level 11, give him rare candy, and he'll be level 12, and that's how won the episode today. Yeah, we did beat the gym. I think that now we can go past the guy, I think. Can we go past? No, he's still there, so we're not gonna be able to move on that way. But I wasn't planning to anyway, so it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna heal up and I'll meet you guys outside. So yeah, like I said, we're gonna get Santa to level 11, give him a rare candy, and then we'll end the episode on a good note. We did quite a bit today. Made a bit more progress than episode two. Or three, for that matter. Yeah, this Rattata is gonna meet its end. 
by Sanic. Sanic the Mouse. We're gonna, of course, we're gonna test out our new move, Rock Tomb. I mean, why would we not do that? It's just too epic. And Brock's team actually did come through for us. We lowered his speed. That's another reason why Rock Tomb is just so good for Sanic, because he can outspeed his opponents once he gets a Rock Tomb in there. And that time I one shot. That's kind of weird. And we're not quite there yet, but I'm just guys wanting we do level up. And here we are, guys. Sanic is now level 11. And he learned Sand Attack. Finally, we got a new move, at least. I could have sworn he learns Poison Sting, but I guess it's not until a later level. I don't know. Yeah, we're just gonna give Sanic the rare candy now. And Sanic is elevated to level 12. So yeah, we made a bit of progress. We caught a new Pokemon. And we beat the second gym. And we beat a rival. There we go. Repels. That guy's talking about repels. And rare candy. I just used one on Sanic. Yeah. And the reason I'm here is because we're going to sell this star piece. And now we have a lot of Poké Dollars. Actually, nah, I'm going to keep the TMs that I have, even though it would be cool to sell them. We have plenty of Pokeballs. Don't have that many potions. Buy 10 of those. Super potions. And we don't really need much else. And we could use repels, yeah. Repels come in handy a lot. And yeah, we are gonna sell the teams that we don't need. Just take away Roar. We never use Roar. No, yeah, it's 500 Poké Dollars. Thought it would've given us more, but apparently not. So yeah, now we're gonna go heal up, because Sanic's in a bit of pain right now. So yeah, we're just gonna get everyone even with Chico, off camera. And it'll, it'll only take long for Sanic. Yeah, now we're gonna heal up. Welcome to our Pokemon Center! Would you like to heal your Pokemon back to perfect health? Yeah. Okay, I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds! Thank you for waiting! We've restored your Pokemon to full health! We hope to see you again! So yeah, guys, that's gonna end this episode. We've done a bit. But yeah, that's gonna end this episode. I'll see you guys next time, and happy hunting! We hope to see you again! We hope to see you again!